Welcome back! I'm one of the developers working on Dwerve. It's a 2D tower defense dungeon crawler RPG. It's a cool mashup of genres, and I'd really appreciate it if you wish us did it on Steam. I did a poll on my Patreon, and the winner was Downhole Devlog Unity Tutorial. So this is Downhole. It's a roguelite where you go for a high score and it has these randomly generated sections. The game also has power-ups, for example these swords right here that spin with me and they're gonna cut the enemies. Check this out. Oh, I missed them. Let me get them for you. <laughs> I just got a new high score, that's what that particle effect was about. And watch this, we're gonna cut this guy. There we go. <laughs> and um... By be I'm going to show you guys how I programmed all of this stuff. We're going to get this game on the App Store. We're going to release it on Itch as well. You're going to you're going to see the entire process. And if you want to have your art in this game, and if you want to be part of the playtesting process, you have to become part of Patreon. But this is a amazing way to learn how to make a game in Unity. Because all of this stuff, as I show you how it's done, you're going to you're going to get more comfortable with using Unity instead of me just like doing tutorials that are kind of boring. It's really fun to do tutorials that are going to be part of a game that's actually going to come out. I'm going to show you how to upload it to all the platforms. We're going to add in ads, in-app purchases, and you can show off to your friends that you have a game up on the App Store and you might even make some money. So let's get started. You've been learning pixel art. Now we're gonna learn Unity so you can release your first legit game. If you need art to get started, I have a free art asset pack on itch. There's a link in the description. If you're part of the Patreon, you can even request what I draw for sprites that you might need. Okay, so on unity.com, just click get started. Here, there's gonna be two tabs. I know when you look at this, you're like, oh my God, that is expensive. I'm not paying that, I'm out of here. Just chill, chill. You can click on individual. When you click on individual, there's a free plan. There's a student and a personal, whatever. I'll just go with personal, it doesn't matter, all right? It'll take you to this screen, and honestly, the download process for Unity is not, it's kind of annoying. Just click start here if you're a first time user, which I'm assuming you guys are, and then hit agree and download. It'll download uh, the thing. So then once it's down downloading, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can click this up arrow and then it says you can click show in folder. This will show you the file in your downloads, just double click it to download. Then I agree and install it wherever you want. So just go ahead and install the Unity Hub. You might need to allow access or whatever. And then install it wherever you want. It, does, it doesn't really matter, just don't forget where. You're going to need to create an account. I click that little X there and now you can create a Unity ID or you can click I already have a Unity ID. And if you're lazy, you can just use your Facebook or Google, you know, that's that's the easiest way to create accounts on these things. When you do two-step authentication, you might get a text on your phone and just click, you know, go through the process. There are gonna be a bunch of templates here and they sound really cool, like carding platformer. And honestly, all these are 3D and the only one here that's 2d is the platformer one you should probably just start a completely fresh project uh for a new game and not use one of these templates i'm gonna rename it to platformer demo what's this <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a hype video dude it's just a hype video to get you excited about unity but this is for this is not you know the type of hype that I think you guys care about. It's like, oh hey look, you can do a triple A games. Um, we're not doing that. So, so anyway, Unity's installing down here. Once it's done installing, we'll show you the next step. If you do learn Unity, you can easily get a job at companies making triple A games. Check it out. Hollow Knight was made in Unity, which is an awesome indie game. Then you have Monument Valley, which was an award-winning mobile game. And then you can also do VR games like the Rick and Morty uh, Regality. Unity is an amazing game engine, and I don't want to argue about using other game engines, all right? If you learn Game Maker, you're not making virtual reality games, you're not getting a job at some company, and you can still make indie games with Unity. So I'd rather you guys not use game engines that are inferior. That's right game makers inferior and go with unity which is going to allow you to do pretty much anything that you want to and you will have job opportunities after you learn this game engine no one's hiring for game maker no one's hiring for Godot. so the only other competitor really is unreal engine however there's over like 300 percent more job listings 
in, uh, for Unity than there are for Unreal Engine. And you might be like, oh, I'm not trying to make it into a career, so I just want to use the simplest simplest game engine. But what if you end up falling in love with the game development? And what if that uh, that first game you make ends up making you uh, some money? I had a friend in college who made a game in Unity while we were studying how to, you know, Unity game engine in college. And he ended up making a million dollars off of that game while in college making it by himself in unity so hmm what excuse do you have let's get to it the first time unity launches it's going to take a while but don't worry it's not going to take that long to launch every time oh hey whoa there's a 2d tutorial um i don't want to go through this platformer tutorial with you guys um what we can do is i just i'll show you what to do okay just go ahead and close that project Okay, so I highly recommend you search Unity Hub or you go to the folder where you have it and click pin to start and pin to taskbar. Unity Hub is going to look something like this. I'm just going to go ahead and full screen it. On the left here, I want to show you something important. When you go to installs, it shows you all of the install Unity installs that you have. What's important is right down here, it shows you what platforms you're currently supporting. So for example, let's say we this was the version we had installed. We can see that there's no Android under there. And since we want to target mobile games, what you can do is right here, you can click add module. And then in here, we can see that there's Android build support. So go ahead and click that. And I would even install those two as well. And then hit continue. And now I'm going to agree. And what we're doing is we're installing Android support. So that way you can export this game onto your phone for playtested and whatever for the app store. You have to do this if you want to target that platform. After that, click projects, then new project. Here, it's going to give you a ton of options. Don't get overwhelmed. We're just going to do with we're going to go with 2D core. Click 2D core on the right side here. Name your project, whatever your game's going to be. What's a cool game name? I'm going to call it the playroom because we're going to mess around in it. I highly recommend that you make a game dev folder in your documents and that's where you keep all your stuff. And now go ahead and click create project. Once again, the first time that it creates a project, it takes a little bit longer, but don't worry, it won't take this long every time. While you wait, lift some weights. If you ain't got weights, do some pushups. Don't fit the fat boy game dev stereotype. And here we are, a fresh, clean project starting from scratch. Now, I can't stand the way they laid this stuff out. As a game developer who's been using Unity for several years now, I'm going to show you the coolest layout that you can do. Oh yeah! Don't get overwhelmed. I know there's a lot of windows, but I'm going to ignore the majority of the stuff here because you don't need to know it. I really want to get into making games without going into every little tiny detail so you don't get overwhelmed. That's how these tutorials are going to be done. We're just going to stick to the stuff that's important. We're not going to worry too much about every little window. You know, it's it can be overwhelming and I definitely don't want to do that to you guys so first grab the hierarchy tab and drag it next to the inspector then grab the project tab and drag it up there as well then grab the console tab and drag it up next to project so there should be three windows here that you can move one two three the center window has the project and the console. This is my favorite layout, but if you're new to Unity, I would probably recommend taking the console and actually dragging it here above the project. For the project, this is gonna show you all the files that you have in your project. And I like to click these three dots and make sure that it's set to one column. If it's set to two columns, you can see it takes up more space. And here, if you click on folders, it'll show you every folders contents in this second window here and I think that's unnecessary it's actually simpler to just have one column and then when you click inside of one of these folders it creates a drop down I think this is slicker sleeker okay so once you have this layout go to window layouts and then save the layout I have this layout saved for me it's called Peter's favorite pizza's five okay now go to file and go to save and then you can also click file save project if you click save as 
then you'll see the location of where you actually save this stuff if you're not sure where it's saving. We're gonna stop here. I said a ton of stuff. I don't want your brains to melt. I the big the biggest problem for me learning Unity was that it was all too overwhelming all at once. We gotta go one step at a time, right? So for this week, you did plenty. Do not try to go ahead and learn even more. Don't start going into programming and all that stuff. It's gonna discourage you, it's gonna be overwhelming, and you're not gonna actually retain that stuff because you're gonna try to learn too much too fast. For now, saving this layout, which is gonna match my layout and it'll make it easier when I'm trying to show you stuff because we'll have the windows in the same locations that is all that you needed to do for this week i'll see you guys next week Devla! please subscribe please subscribe to pixel beat